Fairfax Financial is a financial holding company based in Toronto, Ontario, which is engaged in property, casualty, and life insurance and reinsurance, investment management, and insurance claims management. The company operates primarily through several subsidiaries, including Odyssey Re, Northbridge Financial, Crum and Forster and Zenith Insurance Company. As of December 31, 2010, Fairfax had total assets of approximately $31.7 billion, and its revenue for the prior 12 months was approximately $6.2 billion. Over the last 27 years, the company book value per share has compounded by 23% per year, while the common stock price has followed the growth at 19% per year. On September 23, 2013, Fairfax Financial Holdings made an offer to purchase cell phone maker BlackBerry for $4.7 billion or $9 a share. BlackBerry announced it had signed a letter of intent but would be open to other offers until November 4, 2013. Fairfax already holds 10% of BlackBerry. Fairfax Financial has over 8,200 employees worldwide. There are just 30 employees at head office in Toronto. History Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited was incorporated under the Canada Corporations Act on March 13, 1951 and continued under the Canada Business Corporations Act in 1976. Fairfax's original name was Markle Service of Canada Limited, the name was subsequently changed to Markle Financial Holdings Limited and, in May 1987, to their current name of Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited. Fairfax is led by Chairman and CEO Prem Watsa. Watsa controls nearly half of Fairfax. His value-oriented investing strategies have been compared to those of Warren Buffett. Fairfax is similar to Leucadia National Corporation and Markle Corporation. Leucadia and Markle are also value-oriented firms that follow, to varying degrees, the principles outlined by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd in their text Security Analysis and the Intelligent Investor. Fairfax Financial's investment team at Amblin Watson Investment Council, an affiliate of Fairfax has achieved similar outstanding long-term results. From 1985 to the end of 2010, Fairfax Financial had a compound growth rate of approximately 25% in book value per share, it's about 243 times what Fairfax began with in 1985. V. Prem Watson was born in 1950 in Hyderabad, India. Watso eventually trained to be a chemical engineer. He graduated from the Indian Institute of Technology Madras in 1971-1972 with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. Watso changed his path in 1972, however, moving to London, Ontario, where his older brother resided. Watso's dad figured prospects were limited in India, so he told him that he too, should go to Canada. Thereafter Watson enrolled in the MBA program at the University of Western Ontario and obtained his master's degree in business administration. Prem Watson's professional career began in 1974 when he joined Confederation Life Insurance Company in Toronto, where he quickly moved from his position as an investment and research analyst to one of a stock portfolio manager for pension clients. His first boss at Confed, John Watson, handed him Benjamin Graham's The Intelligent Investor, the classic book of value investing. Watson was a vice president of Confederation Life Investment Council from 1974 to 1983. In 1983, with almost 10 years of experience under his belt, Watson signed on with GW Asset Management, a startup asset management firm in Toronto. He served as vice president of GW Asset Management from 1983 to 1984. At Gardner Watson, Watson met the talented Francis Chu in 1984. Chu was also born in India and immigrated to Canada in 1976 with only $200 in his pocket. Success and a tidy personal fortune have come to Francis Chu through a remarkable Forrest Gump type of odyssey. Initially, Francis worked as a telephone repair man and technician for seven years at Bell Canada. In the late 1970s, Chu became interested, as a hobby, in investing and discovered Ben Graham and his book Security Analysis, as well as the methodology of Warren Buffett. In July 1981, Francis Chu, who had only his high school diploma under his belt, 
set up an investment club with seven co-workers and $51,000 in capital. By 1986, it had grown to about $1.7 million when the original investment club was converted to a mutual fund, Chu Associates. Chu left Bell Canada in 1984 and became a retail analyst at GW Asset Management. In 1984, Prem Watson left GW Asset Management to found his own asset management firm, Hamblin Watson Investment Council Limited together with his former boss from Confet, Tony Hamblin. Tony was the chief investment officer at Confet. The five founding partners were, Tony Hamblin, Prem Watson, Roger Lace, Brian Bradstreet and Francis Burke. All former colleagues from Confet are still with him today at HWIC. Francis Chu is an associate at Amblin Watson. In terms of results of long-term investments of funds of clients, his company ranked in the top 10% across Canada. In 1985, Prem Watson took control of Markle Financial, a Canadian-based specialist in trucking insurance. The company was controlled by the Virginia-based Markle family. The company was almost bankrupt, but Watson figured it just needed a capital injection. Watson hit it off with Stephen Markle, who is still a friend. In May 1987, he reorganized Markle Financial Holdings Limited and renamed it Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited. Prem Watson has served as chairman and chief executive officer of Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited since 1985 and as vice president of Hamblin Watson Investment Council Limited since 1985. He is also the chairman of Odyssey Reholdings Corporation's board of directors. Mr. Watson, directly, and indirectly through 1,109,519 Ontario Limited, the 62 Investment Company Limited and 810,679 Ontario Limited, owns the controlling equity voting interest of Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, Fairfax. He owns roughly 10% of Fairfax which accounts for 99% of his personal wealth. His 10 for 1 multiple voting shares give him just over 50% ownership. The guiding principles of Fairfax are still intact. Honesty and integrity are essential in all relationships and will never be compromised. They never lost a president or Fairfax officer. Sir John Templeton had the biggest influence in Watts's life, as both a friend and business advisor. Watson visited him at least once a year at his home in the Bahamas. Sir John was a Fairfax financial shareholder for a long time. Mr. Prem Watson is a chartered financial analyst, a graduate of the Indian Institute of Technology with a degree in chemical engineering and a holder of an MBA from the Richard Ivey School of Business of the University of Western Ontario. He is a member of the Board of Trustees of the Hospital for Children, a member of the Advisory Board for the Richard Ivey School of Business, a member of the Board of Directors of the Royal Ontario Museum Foundation and as well as Chairman of the Investment Committee of St. Paul a Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Anglican Church. Subprime Mortgage Bubble, as early as the 2003, in an annual report issued by the company, Chief Executive Prem Watson raised concerns about securitized products and talks about the subprime mortgage crisis and the United States housing bubble. We have been concerned for some time about the risks in asset-backed bonds, particularly bonds that are backed by home equity loans, automobile loans or credit card debt. It seems to us that securitization does not care as these loans can be laid off through securitization. Thus, the loss experienced on these loans after securitization will no longer be comparable to that experienced prior to securitization. This is not a small problem. There is $1.0 trillion in asset-backed bonds outstanding as of December 31, 2003 in the U.S., who is buying these bonds. Insurance companies, money managers and banks a euro in the main a euro all reaching for yield given the excellent ratings for these bonds. What happens if we hit an air pocket? Unlike. In an interview in The Globe and Mail in 2007, Mr. Watson said believed that the global credit squeezes in its early days, and indicated he believed there may be similarities to the Japanese asset price bubble. Financial results, assets at December 31, 2010, 31.7 billion US dollars. Total common shareholders a Euro unregistered trademark equity at December 31, 2010, 
$7.8 billion US dollars or $379 book value per basic share. Cash at December 31, 2010, USD $1.5 billion at the holding company level. Dividend, Fairfax annual dividend is $10 a share, payable on January 26, 2011 to shareholders of record on January 19, 2011, reflecting good earnings and increased cash. The previous annual dividends were $10 a share, $8 a share, $5 a share, and $2.75 a share. Revenue for 2010, $6,163.7 million US dollars, net earnings for 2010, $469.0 million US dollars. Credit ratings, Fitch ratings, Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited is an issuer default rating of BBB, BBB, Bar 1, BBB, Low. Crum and Forster Holdings Corporation, Fairfax's subsidiary has an issuer default rating of BBB, BBB, Bar 1. Odyssey Reholdings Corporation, Fairfax's subsidiary has an issuer default rating of BBB, BBB, Bar 3. During the year 2009, S and Par Euro unregistered trademark S upgraded the financial strength ratings of the Crum and Forster operating companies to an Euro rating and upgraded the issuer credit rating to investment grade, a BBBA Euro rating. Also, Moody Euro unregistered trademark S upgraded Fairfax and Crum and Forster to a Bar 1 rating. Hamblin Watson Investment Council Limited. Equals investment performance equals. Fairfax's internal money management firm, Hamblin Watzer, earned 19.9% .9 compounded returns annually, on its stock investments between 2000 and 2009. The investment team is led by Brian Bradstreet, Roger Lace, Sam Mitchell and Chandran Ratnaswamy. The fixed income CDS portfolio manager's team has only two members, Brian Bradstreet and Enza La Selva. The following table shows the time-weighted performance of HWIC versus S&P 500 index and the BOFA Merrill Lynch U.S. Corporate Bond Index. At December 31, 2008, Fairfax's investment portfolio of $18.4 billion consisted of approximately 46% of bonds, approximately 30% of cash and short-term investments and approximately 21% of common stocks. Included in the bond portfolio are $4.0 billion of tax-exempt bonds approximately 87% of which are insured by Berkshire Hathaway Assurance Corporation. Equals HWIC bet against the housing bubble equals, the investment team of HWIC is benefiting from the subprime fallout, like John Paulson a Euro unregistered trademark as New York-based Paulson & Company, Carl Base Heyman Capital, Andrew Lardia Euro unregistered trademark S California based large capital, Julian Robertson a Euro unregistered trademark S Tiger Cubs, and Michael Burris Scion Capital, they have used derivatives to bet on the housing bubble. As of September 30, 2007, Fairfax and its subsidiaries own an enormous credit default swap book with a $18.5 billion notional amount and an average term to expiry of 4.2 years, on about 25 to 30 companies the majority of which are bond insurers and mortgage lenders. The CDS book had a cost of $344 million, and a market value of $546 million. The market value of these swaps have fluctuated significantly in the third quarter of 2007 from less than $200 million at the end of June, to $537 million at the end of July to almost $1 billion in August to $544 million at the end of September. In the housing bubble and financial crisis years of 2008-2009, Fairfax was as one of the uniquely few companies that was able to grow through outstanding investment returns its common shareholders a Euro unregistered trademark equity base from $4.1 billion to $7.4 billion a Euro an increase of $3.3 billion a Euro resulting in an increase in book value per share of 61%. This was far more than any company in the financial industry. Subsidiaries, Odyssey Re based in Stamford, Connecticut, underwrites treaty and facultative reinsurance as well as speciality insurance business. Northbridge Financial based in Toronto, provides property and casualty insurance through its Commonwealth, Federated, Lombard and Markle subsidiaries.
primarily in the Canadian market as well as in selected U.S. and international markets. Crum and Forster based in Morristown, New Jersey, is a property and casualty insurance company. Zenith Insurance Company based in Woodland Hills, California, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Fairfax. Zenith has been a specialist in workers' compensation insurance. Fairfax purchased 100% of Zenith National Insurance Corporation for approximately $1.3 billion on May 20, 2010. Falcon Insurance based in Hong Kong, rights property and casualty insurance. First Capital based in Singapore, rights property and casualty insurance. The U.S. runoff group consists of TIG, International Insurance and the Fairmont Entities, the European runoff group Riverstone Insurance UK in Dublin, Ireland-based Enspire Re, Hamblin Watser Investment Council Limited. HWIC was founded in 1984 and provides asset management for all of Fairfax's subsidiaries, Cunningham Lindsay provides insurance claim services, MFXCHANGE established in 2002, provides technology services for Fairfax in the insurance industry, Group Re. ICICI Lombard is a 74-26% joint venture between ICICI Bank Limited, India's second largest bank and Fairfax Financial. Other investments, Fairfax Asia, Fairfax Asia Limited is the fastest growing insurance line of business within the Fairfax Group. Fairfax Brasil, Fairfax Brasil Sageros Corporative Bos SA is a Brazilian property and casualty insurance, headquartered in Sao Paulo. Paulo. Polish RE, Polish RE based in Warsaw, Poland, rights reinsurance business in Central and Eastern Europe. Advent Capital PLC, Advent Capital, based in London, in the UK, provides speciality property and casualty insurance, operating through syndicates 780 and 3330 at Lloyd a Euro unregistered trademark S London. Alliance Insurance, Fairfax owns a 20% stake in Alliance Insurance. Altrust Insurance Company of China, Fairfax owns a 15% stake in Altrust Insurance Company in China. BlackBerry Limited, in September 2013 the BlackBerry signed a letter of intent to be acquired for $4.7 billion, or $9 per share by a consortium led by Fairfax Financial. The consortium has announced its intentions to take the company private. General Fidelity Insurance Company, on August 17, 2010. Fairfax purchased 100% of General Fidelity Insurance Company, for approximately $241 million. GFIC will be under Riverstone, Fairfax runoff group. Gulf Insurance Company. On September 28, 2010, Fairfax purchased 41.3% of Gulf Insurance Company, for approximately $217 million. First Mercury Financial Corporation. On October 28, 2010, Fairfax announced to acquire all of the outstanding shares of First Mercury Common Stock for approximately $294 million. First Mercury will become the excess and surplus lines platform for Crum and Forster. The Pacific Insurance Bahad, Pacific Insurance is headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. On December 3, 2010, Fairfax announced to acquire Malaysian insurer, the Pacific Insurance Bahad for approximately 64 million US dollars. Pacific will join the Fairfax Asia Group. Jordan Q8 Bank, Odyssey Re, a wholly owned subsidiary of Fairfax owns a 4.8% stake of the Jordan Q8 Bank. ICICI Lombard, ICICI Lombard is the largest private general insurance company in India, with a 12.5% market share. ICICI Bank which owns the 74% of ICICI Lombard not owned by Fairfax, requested Indian government approval to sell a 5.9% stake in itself for $600 million to a group of private equity investors. ICICI Bank was looking at valuing ICICI holdings at $10 billion. Goldman Sachs and other foreign funds were interested in buying the stake. Fairfax is carrying the minority interest in ICICI Lombard, on its balance sheet at $60 million, which appears to be a significant discount to intrinsic value. Overstock.com, Fairfax holds a 16.5% stake in online retailer Overstock.com. 
Patrick M. Byrne, the CEO, chairman and owner of Overstock comes from a family of value investors. He is the son of John J. Byrne, former chairman of Berkshire Hathaway's GICO Insurance subsidiary and White Mountains Insurance Group. Chu Associates Fund, in late 2002, Fairfax invested $50 million in Chu Associates Fund and another $50 million in the first half of 2003. Equals Canadian Common Stock Holdings equals, this includes outstanding stock as reported in news releases by Fairfax, CanWest Global Communications Corporation, Cunningham Lindsay Group Incorporated, Fibrook Incorporated, 25.8, Mega Brands Incorporated, 16.5%. Ridley Incorporated, 73.5, SFK Pulp Fund Units, Torstar Corporation Class B Shares, The Brick Group Income Fund. Equals Common Stock Holdings Equals, this includes outstanding stock as reported in the last SEC Edgar filing by Fairfax. Abbott Laboratories, Alco, AstraZeneca PLC ADR, Baldwin and Leon Incorporated CLB, Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated CL. Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated CLB, Bristol Myers Squibb Company, Brown and Brown Incorporated, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, CFS Bancorp Incorporated, Chrysad SACIF, YA, Dell Incorporated, First Place Fin Corporation, Frontier Communications, Gannett Company, Incorporated, General Electric Company, GlaxoSmithKline PLC ADR, IDT Corporation, Intel Corporation, International Coal Group Incorporated, Johnson & Johnson, King Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, Kraft Foods Incorporated CL, A, Level 3 Communications Incorporated, Magna International Incorporated CL, A, Mohawk Industries Incorporated, Namtai Elects Incorporated, New York Community Bank, New Market Corporation, Office Depot Incorporated, Old Republic International Corporation, Overstock.com Incorporated, Dell, Pfizer Incorporated, Progressive Corporation, Ryonga Holdings PLC ADR, Sandridge Energy Incorporated, Steward Enterprises Incorporated, USG Corporation, US Bancorp Dell, Viacom Incorporated CLB, Walmart Stores Incorporated. Wells Fargo and Company, Wesco Financial, Source, SEC Filings. Equals other notable transactions equals, a buy to buy Bowater Incorporated. Fairfax made an investment of $350 million in a buy to buy Bowater convertible debentures with an 8% cash coupon. The debentures are convertible into common shares of a buy to buy Bowater Incorporated at $10 US per share. The debentures has an ability to pay interest in the form of additional pay-in-kind debentures at a rate of 10%, and has an abide by Bowater subsidiary guarantee. They have a maturity of five years and are non-callable. Fairfax will have the right to appoint two directors to the board of directors. Foundations, not-for-profit entities affiliated with Fairfax, the 64 Foundation Toronto, Ontario, the 63 Foundation Toronto. Ontario. Corporate Governance. Equals Board of Directors equals. Prem Watts a Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Brandon W. Sweets a Senior Fellow, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, Jonathan Stevenson Chairman, Brookfield Funds, Brookfield Asset Management Incorporated. Alan D. Horn Chairman, Rogers Communications Incorporated and President and CEO, Rogers Telecommunications Limited. Robert J. Goon Corporate Director, Anthony F. Griffiths Corporate Director. Equals Officers Equals. Prem Watson and Chief Executive Officer, Bradley P. Martin Vice President, Chief Operating Officer and Corporate Secretary, John Varnell Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, Peter Clark Vice President and Chief Risk Officer, Gene Clouty Vice President, International Operations, David Bonham Vice President, Financial Reporting, Ronald Scocking Vice President and Treasurer, Paul Rivett Vice President and Chief Legal Officer, Eric P. Salzberg Vice President, Corporate Affairs, Hank Edmiston Vice President, Regulatory Affairs, John Castle Vice President, Taxation M. Jane Williamson Vice President. Articles, 
April 23, 2013, BlackBerry Empire, Fairfax Financial CEO Prem Watson thinks BlackBerry shares worth $40, February 19, 2009, National Post, Fairfax Financial's 2008 coup and exclusive interview with Prem Watson, October 7, 2008, Globe and Mail, Fairfax's Prem Watson, not buying stocks why this slump will be long and deep, March 7, 2008, Globe and Mail, Fairfax boosts Can West stake to 16.29%, January 29, 2008, Globe and Mail, Ion Equities, Scotia Capital sees earnings soar at Fairfax Financial. January 21, 2008, Financial Post, Why it's fair weather for Fairfax investors, McDonald's, Berkshire Hathaway, Fairfax Financial, December 5, 2007, Fool.com, How to Dodge the Debt, Berkshire, Fairfax, Allegheny AL. November 23, 2007, Globe and Mail, He has never been more bearish Prem Watson interview about the subprime mortgage bubble, November 7, 2007, Seeking Alpha.com, Morningstar sees Fairfax Financial hitting on all cylinders, September 19, 2007, Seeking Alpha.com, Fairfax, The Tables Are Turning by With Nia Tilson, May 26, 2007, The Star, Fairfax Braces for Meltdown Prem Watson says safety margins are inadequate amid speculative bubble, January 26, 2006, Globe and Mail, Short Shrift Exclusive Interview of Fairfax CEO Prem Watson. April 5, 2005, Richard Ivey School of Business, Canada The Ivey Center for Value Investing and the Ben Graham Chair in Value Investing. Videos, May 25, 2007, Conference on Intelligent Investing Mr. Watt saw Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Keynote Speech was Benjamin Graham and Bubbles, August 1, 2007, Guest Speakers to Value Investing Class as Mr. Francis Chu, CFA, Chu Associates Management Incorporated. Regulatory Filings, SEC.gov, Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, FFH, Edgar Filings The Edgar Database, SEC.gov, Hamblin Watson Investment Council Limited, HWIC, Edgar Filings The Edgar Database, SEC.gov, Odyssey Reholdings Corporation, ORH, Edgar Filings The Edgar Database, SEDAR.com, Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, FFH, Canadian Securities Filings, SEDAR.com, Northbridge Financial Corporation, NB, Canadian Securities Filings, SEDAR.com, Chu Associates Management Incorporated, Canadian Securities Filings, SEDI.com, System for Electronic Disclosure by Insiders The Various Canadian Provincial Security Regulators, Canadian Insider.com, Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, FFH, Insider Activity Review, Canadian Insider.com, Northbridge Financial Corporation, NB, Insider Activity Review, BlackBerry announces completion of acquisition of additional US $250 million to benches by Fairfax. External links Fairfax Car Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, Official Site, Yahoo! Finance, FRFHFPK Quotes and Company Profile, Seeking Alpha, FRFHFPK Quotes and Articles, Globe and Mail, Fairfax Financial Company Snapshot, Google Finance, FFH Quotes, OdysseyRe.com Odyssey Re Holdings, Official Site, NorthbridgeFinancial.com Northbridge Financial Corporation Official Site, icilombard.com icici lombard official site chufunds.com chu associates management official site